hi guys. Just trying to get set up here to get this as good as we can. All right, hi guys. I can see people liking and and giving hearts, so thank you, but I can't necessarily see who you are, so that, that's too bad. Um, we're gonna get started. We're gonna take a couple of minutes to get others joined in. Um, and uh, I just left here for any materials you might need. We're gonna be working on acrylic and canvas, but if you don't have that, that's fine. You can make this work with, um, pretty much anything, crayons, what are those called, uh, pa oil pastels, colored pencils, we will make it happen. Hey Susanna, I'm so glad that you, you're here. Um, I, I have noticed that there, there is a slight delay in, um, I think what I'm able to see in terms of comments and in terms of what you will see um, on the screen. So it's not exactly live, but don't don't worry if I don't respond to a question or comment right away. Hey Susanna, can you can you comment that if you can hear me? Just want to make sure that the audio is working. Certainly hope, hope, hope it is. Hey, Jeanette, can you hear me? Thank you. Oh, hey, Katie. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Hi, Lori. Hi, guys. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Okay. So you, you probably can notice a bit of a delay on, on how I'm able to uh, respond to you. Okay, great. Hi, Kelly. Um, so we will, we will take a couple minutes, make sure other people get in um, and can join the video. Take the time to set up your space if you haven't already. We've got um, a nice colorful painting that can be very flexible. Uh, you can use crayons, colored pencils, markers, anything, anything will, will kind of work here. We'll make it happen, right? Hi, Rachel, thank, thank you for being here. Hi, Stacy. Hey, Jenny, absolutely. I'm waiting, I'm waiting on Nikki uh, chiming in. I think she's having trouble finding where I am. So again, if you're just joining, uh, we're gonna be doing something really fun and colorful. 
And if you don't have acrylic paints and canvas, that's fine. Uh, crayons, markers, colored pencils, oil pastels, we will make it happen. Paper plates, paper bags, we will, we will do it. Hi, Nikki! <laughs> I'm so glad you made it. Awesome. Excellent. So, um, I have the materials list out there. Uh, make sure your spot is nice and set up. Maybe you need a snack, a little drink, whatever you need. We're just gonna, we're gonna have some fun and, and, and relax. And, uh, absolutely, Michelle. Um, my pleasure doing this. Um, I'm, I'm happy to do this for, for everyone. Uh, the idea was to have a little something for kids to do while they're, while they're home, but also adults, adults can play too. So I'm happy, I'm happy to have increased the volume. Let's see. Um, how's the volume if I'm if, like this? Um, I was standing up, but now if I'm sitting, I might be closer to the microphone. I hope that works. Is that better, Susanna? All right, I'm going to I'm going to continue here. I don't know if we're a little frozen. I'm going to Oh, great. Okay, great. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna sit closer here to the to the microphone, and um, as I think we've all uh, had great practice. Um, so I'm gonna show you what we're doing here, and yeah, as I was saying, we've all been kind of winging it, haven't we, on um, these past couple of days? So that's exactly what I'm doing right now. Um, I've never done a, a live video before. Actually, that's not true. Technically, I have, but it was a complete accidental butt dial, and I was live streaming from my butt pocket, um, ironically, at a pain event. So I guess this would be my second pain event um, gone live. So this is, this is the uh, painting that we'll be working on. Really fun, really colorful. Any kind of medium can work. We're going to work on those really nice, bright, fun colors, and then adding that very stark black silhouette of the tree is going to be really fun. It's going to kind of give us a nice almost stained glass effect. And you can make this, you can make this work however, however you like. Um, maybe you have a color scheme in your home. Uh, I guess I'm talking to the adults here. <laughs> um, a color scheme in your home where you want to hang this where you have more reds and purples. Or maybe you're thinking this is going to go in the bathroom and you have some more blues or, or whatever. Um, so that's what we're going to do, and you can totally tailor make this however you like. Uh, kiddos out there, this is your awesome little painting or drawing or picture, and you can make it however you like. Uh, remember, my, my favorite part is that not all of these are going to look alike at the end. In fact, mine won't look like the original at all, so we're just here to have fun. Uh, put down some happy, fun colors, and, and yeah, I'll add a little brightness to this sort of gloomy day. Um, and you can see my little... My little sign down here. I will be doing actually three weeks through the Jana Marie Foundation. They have these little awesome Facebook Live wellness breaks. So I'm going to be working through their Facebook page, uh, the Jana Marie Foundation Facebook page. Uh, that's Thursday, March 19th at 2 p.m. And then I'll do the, the following week and then the week after that as well. So that's our, our picture in case you're just joining. Um, I recommend maybe uh, taking a photo um, or a screenshot of the finished product if you think that's helpful. And then we can get started. Maybe take about a minute. I'm glad you like it, Miss Jeanette. All right, 
So let's let's do this. And I'm gonna I'm gonna try to go slow. All right. Take it step by step because there is a delay. Please, if you have any questions, um, just comment a question and I will try to answer it. If I happen to miss the question, then um, just, just ask it again. And I'm sure if you have a question that somebody else might have the same one, it could be helpful. So um, yeah, let's get started. So artists with canvas and brush, I'm gonna I'm gonna start with my blue paint. Um, I'm gonna start with this in the upper right corner. Oh, I'm so glad, Susanna. Um, I'm happy you're here with the fam. I'm gonna start with my blue paint. Um, and anybody using crayons, magic markers, you guys can follow along in the same in the same way. Um, things are just gonna be a little different for with crayons and colored pencils. Things are gonna blend a little bit differently. But the idea is basically the same. So I'm gonna dip into my my blue paint. Are you guys ready? I'm so excited. Let's do this. I got my blue paint, okay? And I'm going to just, I'm gonna start working in my upper right hand corner here. And you can do any kind of brush stroke you like. I kind of like doing the, the crisscross, the swish and flick. Uh, Rachel, it's not the painting for this Thursday. We'll be doing something different. Um, I don't, I don't know what it is yet. It'll be a surprise. Um, but uh, something probably in the same line, something cheery and bright, and that um, any any age can follow along with with any medium. So I'm just gonna work this in. Let's see, I think I'm gonna go almost almost halfway down here down the side. And this this blue section is kind of like a a wedge, like a a triangle. It doesn't have to be a perfect triangle. I'm just kind of setting myself up for where I want my blues to be. I'm just kind of waiting for everyone to catch up here. So I want to I want to keep that that blue pretty wet, right? I'm going to move on into my next my next trick here. You know what? Why don't we um, I'm going to if I have a big old glop of paint like that, I'm going to want to wipe that off. So I've got I got that glop of blue and I'm just going to wipe off the paint. It's really helpful to just wipe off as much paint as you can before you um, wash your brush in water, but I'm actually not even gonna rinse it in water. Um, I'm gonna take that and go right into some white. Okay, um, a little smidgy smooch. That's actually more than a smidgy smooch if we're gonna get technical here. Um, but I'm just gonna start working that into my blue area that I've got. I'm gonna get this really cool, you know, light blue. I'm just kind of, lightly crisscrossing swish and flick and i'm gonna go oh i'm gonna go almost all the way over to that that left corner hey Brittany. all right so if you're just joining us we we started with um some blue in the upper right corner and then I wiped off any excess glops of blue paint I had there and um, went right into my white and started blending in some crisscrossies um, like so. How's it going out there, guys? I gotta say, it's really, really... Um, hard for me not to see uh, what you guys are doing. It's one of my favorite parts when I do these 
these pain events, whether they're, it's a private event or at the arena. And it's just so sad that I can't see what you're doing. Um, uh, I can't wait to see photos of these when they're all done. We'll, we'll set up a, a post on my Facebook page so you can post your, your final projects in the, in the comments. Um, but it's, it's, I didn't anticipate this being so hard for me because I just, I want to see what you're doing. It's, it's, it, I love watching people create art. So I guess I'll just have to stare at my own painting for the next hour or so. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm going to take advantage of what I have on my brush here. And I'm going to tap in just a little smidgy smooch of green. If you don't have green paint, just dip into some yellow and blue, right? So yellow and blue will make green. I just got a little bit of green and I'm going to start working in this upper corner here. Ooh, and I like that. I like that kind of sea green that's happening. So um, I'm, I'm sitting here with um, my iPhone set up on this stand but I also have um, Facebook open on my desktop computer, so I can see how, how much of a delay there is. And let's just bring, let's just bring this green down wherever we want, right? So by the way, you, you can follow along as much as you wish. Everybody's gonna have their own cool interpretation. Maybe you don't want a lot of green. Maybe you don't want a lot of blue. You can add more of whichever color you like. Again, maybe you're thinking of um, putting this. Oh, Katrina, awesome. I, I can't wait to see that. Um, yeah, the, the chalky ones would be really fun with this one, right? Because you can get you can get some serious blend on. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna still take advantage of that green in my brush. Um, I don't have a whole lot in there, but if I did have like a big old glop, I'd probably wipe it off on my paper towel. Um, and I'm going to actually, I'm gonna wipe off in my paper towel because I want. I want my yellow to come through as much as I can. So I got some yellow on my brush here and I'm going to start blendy blendy right into that green that I already have. Grab some more yellow. Maybe I want some over here. I don't know. And I always say it um, when I'm at the arena and some paintings are more forgiving than others. This is a really forgiving one. Um, I promise if you just have a lot of really fun, bright colors um, in the back and then we put that tree down in front, it's going gonna, it's gonna to look really awesome. <laughs> All right. So I want to get more, more of a pure yellow. So I am going to wipe off any excess paint from my brush. Hey, Don! <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. You better catch up. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm, I am going to wash off, uh, wipe off any excess paint from my brush and give my brush a good clean rinse because I want that next color um, yellow to really, really get um, nice and clear and clean. So. <laughs> I hope you're participating and making making some great art, Don Bedell. Oh, Lori's back. <laughs> How's that coworker Moo of yours doing? I hope I hope uh, no more insubordination. All right, so I've cleaned my brush. Oh, that's so sad. But you can use crayons, markers, colored pencils, 
I mean, you could do, you could do a, a line drawing with a pencil. All right, so now I've got um, some yellow, some pure yellow, and I'm gonna start bringing that down. Well, good for Moo. And I can already tell that this, this painting is different from the original. It's not a perfect replica, but that is okay. This is what we're doing in the moment right now. We are making it happen on this Tuesday afternoon. You know what, I'm going to bring my yellow down into my corner here. Because I want to I wanna make this become orange. I love it, Susanna. That's what it's all about. We're yes anding all over the place. We use what we got and just keep building. We got this. All right, so I've brought that yellow swath down here uh, because I want to, in my world, I want to I want to make this um, orangey down here. So um, I'm gonna um, I don't need to wash my brush, um, but if I do have a big old glop, maybe maybe I'd want to wipe it off. But I'm gonna go into a smidgy smooch of red here. Hey Maria. Um, just a little smidgy smooch. Technical term for a wee bit of paint on the brush. Um, we can always add more paint. It's harder to take it away. So with this smidgy smooch, with that red already down there, I can start mixing right on my canvas. Maria, are you enjoying your new home gym? I forgot what um, Charlie took home. I'm just gonna blend that red in there and then I get a, a nice kind of burnt orange happening here. I'm gonna kind of leave this section here. I want to go back there and and make it a little bit purpley. Smidgey smooch! Yes, Susanna. <laughs> oh, that's so weird. I don't think I've ever seen it written down. That's kind of funny. A little smidgey smooch. Okay, and I'm gonna bring some more red down here. I want to start um, kind of building a, a darker, deeper orange as I'm moving to the left. Um, by the way, folks, because I can't see you, I don't know if I'm going too fast. So if I am going too fast, um, please, please just let me know and say, slow down. Um, but we can, I can take a little break here to get people caught up. All right, sure thing, Stacy. Thank you. I'm so glad I could provide this entertainment as you work, Maria. Maria, are you home with the kiddos working? All right, so if you are just joining us, or you need some time to catch up. Again, we kind of started in the upper right, smudging down some of that blue in the upper right hand corner. Then we um, wiped off any excess glops of blue. I went into some white and kind of worked in this blendy area here. Then I wiped off my brush, went into some green and blended up here into this wedge. And then I went into yellow and for the yellow, I brought it all the way down to the bottom corner here because I wanted to work up some some orangey some orangey tones here okay and then um, for my next trick we're basically gonna move over to the left and fill in the rest here I'm gonna keep blendy blendy this 
red into the, my yellows and oranges here. Okay. And if you're, if you're at a point where you're like, I can't blend my, my colors are not blending. Um, they're harsh lines instead of blends. That's, that's totally fine with this painting. Um, absolutely. If you really want to get the blend down, then, um, let's imagine you have like stark red next to stark yellow. And I can kind of try to show you this. Um, this, this hopefully is helpful for some. So let's say you've got like a stark red area next to a stark yellow. Nope. Well, see, that's what happens when you mix paint. It's not going to be stark yellow. So that was a fail. <laughs> so let me, let me get some stark red here and I'll just put some stark yellow down with my finger. Oh yes. Finger painting. Let's do it. So I got some stark yellow and some stark red. So let's say this is your painting and you're like, ah, I want it to blend. What do I do? So what you're going to want to do is find the, the middle tone of those two colors. So red and yellow together. I'm going to mix red and yellow together in my plate here, my other plate. So I'm mixing those together. I'm going to find that middle tone and I'm going to work that middle tone in between. Kind of back and forth, back and forth. Okay. And that seemed to help, um, tone down the red a bit, but now I think I need to go in more aggressive with the yellow. So I'm going to wipe off my brush nice and clean. Um, again, I'm just kind of doing a little demo of how do I soften up my harsh lines if I don't like my harsh lines. So wipe off my brush, give it a good bath. All right, now I'm going to go into some straight yellow and I'll try to tone down that, that orange. Tone down that orange and also bring in that orange into my yellow. Okay. It takes, it takes some patience. Um, so if you're not patient, this, this might not be your, your bag, baby. Um, but that's basically, um, what I would do. I would kind of try to smudge, you know, back and forth with these three tones, something like that. Okay. Um, but that's, if you want blendy blendy, maybe you don't want blendy blendy. Okay. And if you have harsh lines, that's fine. Okay. All right. So let's, let's move on. I've got to rinse my brush here. All right. So we're back here and I want to kind of fill in this swath with, um, red. I'm gonna start bringing my red over here. See, and my brush is wet from cleaning it. So I need to dry that more because that, that, um, oops, technical difficulties. That's what you get for cheap brushes. Um, so I'm going to make sure my brush is nice and dry here. All right. Let's fill this in. Hey, Alexa. All righty. I'm just filling in this red. And, you know, speaking of harsh lines, I'm going to wind up with a pretty harsh line up here with my red and yellow, and that's totally fine. And actually, with those, those um, harsh uh, borders here, that's going to help me find where my branches are going to be later. Okay, I'm going to kind of use those for my branches. All righty. So how are, how are the kiddos doing? So this is a message just for the, the kids. So grown-ups have to plug their ears. 
How, how's everybody doing? I hope you guys are having fun. I, I, I'm sad that I can't see your beautiful artwork right now. Um, but maybe your, your mom or dad or whoever's with you right now, they'll take a picture of it for me and I can see it on my Facebook page. Because I'd love to see it. Because I know there's some really talented kids um, painting right now. Or drawing with crayons or using pastels or watercolor, whatever. All right, you can tell your, your parents to open their ears again. All righty. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take advantage of that red on my brush. And I'm just going to use it to basically get rid of paint. All right. And if I go over my blue, it's already going to start to turn purple. So that's fun. Um, so yeah, I'm actually going to... I'm getting a little carried away here. Um, I'm going to go into um, my straight purple. I have straight purple. If you don't have purple paint, blue and red will do. And I'm just going to kind of go over this area with some purple. And then you can kind of bring that up over your blue, however you like. Yeah, so something, something like that. And I'm kind of just blending wherever I, I want to. So as you can see, I just see. Yeah, are you guys able to? Um, oh, okay, Ginny. Yeah, are you guys able to? Um, like, get put photos in the comments. Is that possible when we're doing this? I don't know. I just I love seeing everybody's artwork. That's like the best part for me. <coughs> So, um, as you can see, this is very different from that, right? And when I do um, paints, paint nights and paint events, I will never get the exact same painting. And that's just the fun of it, right? It's always going to be something new and different. Kids are always so good at coming up with something new and different they always make me smile and they have a new way of looking at things so I, I cannot wait to see these i hope you guys are able to um if you can't post them here in the comments then when we're all done then um we'll make a post on my facebook page so i can see you um rut row I, I saw a little angry face pop up i hope everybody's okay <laughs> um Yeah, so uh, it's all good. It is all good. Take a little break here. Get this little notice out of the way, I guess. Whoa. Hey, Andrea. You're a busy lady. I'm glad you're here. So we've we've got the the background here, um, and I'm sure. <laughs> um, I wish we could, but you're just gonna have to. You're gonna have to wing it. You're gonna have to yes and here. Um, but I'm sure you and PJ could could figure it out. Um, we started it in the right, upper right hand corner with the blue. We added some white and then some green, brought down some yellow, um, some reds to turn that orange. The red went that away and then we went up here with purple. Bada bing, bada boom. We'll take a, we're just taking a minute here to get people caught up. 
Um, it is, like I was saying earlier, it's really hard for me to know uh, how everybody's doing because I can't see, see your progress. But this is fun. I hope you guys are having fun. Um, I, I have to admit, it's a little weird to, to be sitting in my office talking to myself, but um, I trust that, that you guys are there on the other end. <laughs> So when we are when we are done with our background here with all these fun bright colors, um, we can go ahead and give our brush a nice good clean rinse. And um, ooh, did we get interrupted? I think we're back. Is everybody still there? I it says I got a message that this was interrupted. Hey Jackie. Mm -hmm. Hey Mel. All right, so we're good. Yeah, I got a I got a brief message that um, something was interrupted because technology. Awesome. Awesome. Great. All right. How are we doing out there? Are we good with our backgrounds? So, um, as I kind of alluded to earlier, if you have those harsh borders and you don't like them, that's going to kind of be your guide for where some of your branches are. And that's going to really, um, kind of help with the, the stained glass effect. Okay, kind of like stained glass window. So you can see here, um, this branch kind of followed that, that border between the yellow and the red. And this branch followed the border between the green and the blue. Okay, this branch said, whatever, I'm doing my own thing. Um, but uh, so yeah, use, use your background um, to help you find where those, where those branches are. Okay, I hope that makes sense. And then the other, the other tip for our branches is um, don't be afraid of extending those, those main branches all the way out to the sides of our canvas. That's going to help it look really, really full. It's going to help it with that, that stained glass window effect. So yeah, don't be afraid of extending those branches all the way out. Um, and that's a, that's a special helpful tip for my my awesome kid artists. Um, kid artists, do not be afraid to bring out your branches all the way to the end. Um, it's going to help make your tree look really, really big and awesome. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> hi Diana, don't get in trouble. <laughs> um, so, for our branches here, you can use, um, uh, for the big, the big old trunk of the tree, I'm going to use my big fat brush, right? Um, but you can use whatever brush um, you want. Um, I recommend if you want to get those fine lines, practice your fine lines, your tiny skinny little lines. On, um, if you're working on a plastic table cover, do that. If you have a paper plate, um, whatever. Uh, I highly recommend practicing your brush strokes before you do it directly on the canvas <laughs> um, to kind of to see how things are, are going to go. Um, if, if you do have a large flat brush, especially one on an angle like this, this is um, a lifesaver when it comes to making fine lines. Okay, so what, what I can do with a nice flat brush, and I'll show you. So with um, a nice wide flat brush, I can move my brush back and forth, back and forth, okay? And I can get a nice edge, hopefully that's showing up, okay? And with the angled brush, that's going to help me use, I'm going to get more paint here, 
I'm just going to use the, the tippy tips of those bristles, right? The tippity tips of those bristles. And I can drag. Let's see, do I have enough paint? I don't have enough paint. So that, that came out really light because I don't have enough paint on my brush. <laughs> Trees can be squat. I love a good fat tree. Susanna. Okay, so I've moved my brush back and forth um, on my plate and I'm just gonna use the tippity tips to to pull out, um, that's kind of a thick line, but I'm having trouble getting the kind of paint that I want on here. Okay, there we go. That's a nice, that's a nice line. Okay, um, so what I notice when people try to do the fine lines with the big brush um, is they'll, they'll press the corner of the brush on the canvas like this. They'll like press it down. So yeah, we don't want to press it down. We just want to use the tippity tops, the tippity tips, um, to get those lines. All right, I'll stop talking. So I've got my big brush and I'm just going to Oh, I'm going to start at the tippity top of this canvas here. Ooh, I'm going to, I'm going to follow this as my guide. How about that? So this, this kind of, um, border between my greens and blues, I'm going to follow that. And that's going to be the tippity top of one of my branches. And I'm just going to bring it all the way down. And this is where, um, sound effects are very helpful. So if you know the sound effect, go ahead and do it. The tree trunk sound effect is usually thus. Shunk. Kapow. Don't be shy, you can do it. Actually, so this tree trunk here is a little too straight up and down for me. I kind of wanted it more on an angle. So, I'll show you what I mean. So down, down here, oops, this one is kind of leaning more. That's a little bit too straight up and down. So I can, I can totally address that. No problemo. I'm just going to extend that out here and bring this bad boy, something like that. How about that? So I, hi Fran. So this one is, um, this tree, I kind of like it being kind of a bit gnarly. It's not perfectly straight and smooth. All right. So I'm gonna start filling out this tree trunk, tapering it up at the top here. Something like that. Taking a little, little break here to get people caught up. And also a Carmex, uh, lip balm break. They are not paying me to, to talk about it, <laughs> but I don't know about you, but my lips have been super chapped and my hands have been very dry from all the hand washing, all the extra hand washing, I should say, extra vigorous hand washing. Okay. So that's, um, <laughs> oh, you guys crack me up. Um, so that's my, my basic tree trunk. And now I'm going to start pulling out branches wherever I want them. Cause this is my tree and I can put branches wherever I want. I can also follow the borders of those colors to kind of help as a guide. Um, so for example, Ooh, let's, let's take on this 
this border here and get a nice kind of droopy tree branch. Oh, you can't see past my hand. Ooh, we're going lefty. We're painting lefty. That's a first. So you can see. Bring this in over here. So yeah, I want to kind of thicken it up closer to the tree trunk. taking a little pause here make sure everybody can get caught up so yeah now we're just we're having fun putting um, what I call secondary branches so we have that that um, big old trunk is kind of like our main line here now our secondary lines are just gonna start start in that trunk and then I'm gonna pull them out um, and lift up my brush so I'm not pressing as hard on the canvas as I move away. So now I'm, I'm looking at my, my first branch that I did there and that one's really kind of straight. And, um, but that's okay. Cause I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, when I work on that branch, I'm gonna really try to make, uh, some curvy branches to kind of hide the fact that that one's really kind of straight, <laughs> but that is okay. Right. Everything is fixable. Everything is fixable, especially with trees and leaves and flowers. We can fix a lot of things. All right, I want another branch. Well, let's come out over here. This guy needs a little branch over here. I hope we're doing all right getting those those branches in I have a feeling that at, if we were in the arena right now this would be the point at which everybody goes really quiet all right and I want a little branch over here do I'm gonna I'm gonna thicken this guy up so I can make him a little bit wiggly there we go all right I think those are almost all my main branches or secondary branches I'm gonna pull out this guy over here are making it happen we are making it happen on this cloudy Tuesday thanks again everyone for joining me with this live paint along I can't wait to see all your finished photos on my Facebook page if you are willing to share I promise you you're gonna be excited when these are all done 
Um, I hope you're excited right now because it's such a it's such a fun, colorful kind of painting. And uh, the tree is just, it kind of pops against that really fun background. And actually right now, um, you guys keep working on those branches. Oh no, I see angry and sad faces. Um, so keep, keep working on those branches. Or if you're like me, you need a little um, bathroom break. So let's take a five um, for a bathroom break. Maybe you need to get another drink of water. I think I need to get another drink of water as well. So I'm just gonna leave you guys to it and we'll be back in a couple of minutes whenever I'm back from the restroom. So <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll catch up. Be back in a couple of minutes. All right, we're back. Ooh, knock over my stand here. All right. So we are just working on our branches. Once I've got my secondary or main branches, I can start adding even littler ones, so I'm just starting on a branch and pulling out and lifting up my brush so I don't have as much pressure. I'm not pressing down as hard as I'm moving it away from the from the main branch. <clears throat> and I love just adding lots lots of little brush brushes branches that um, Go all the way to the edge of that canvas. Again, that's going to help it look like it's kind of like stained glass, which is kind of neat. So in case anybody um, missed it earlier, um, I will be doing another live painting. Um, <laughs> yes, chalk dust does get everywhere. Um, in case you missed it earlier, I'll be doing another live paint demo on Thursday at two o'clock, but I'll be over at the Jana Marie Foundation 
page. They're doing um, a wellness. Hi, Anya. Oh, I can't wait to see your painting when it's all done. Um, so the Jana Marie Foundation does a, is they're doing a wellness series of um, online videos. And I'll be doing three different paint sessions from their, from their uh, Facebook page, Jana Marie Foundation. Um, where's my little sign? So yeah, it's the, that's their name, the Jana Marie Foundation. The first one is Thursday, March 19th at 2 p.m. It will not be this painting. It will be a different painting. And I can't tell you what it is because I don't know what it is yet. Uh, but we will, we will think of something, make it happen. All right. I'm going to follow this um, red line here to bring out another branch. Yeah, I'd say don't don't be shy with those branches. Love a lot of branches, huh? All right. This is a fun one, right guys? When I was trying to figure out what are we gonna paint, um, I was looking through the approximately 8,000 canvases I have at home. <laughs> and this was from a private event, so I don't think we ever did it at the arena. Um, and by the way, when I talk about the arena, I'm talking about the arena bar and grill where I do regular cheers to art paint nights um, the first Thursday and then the third Wednesday. Uh, of course, we're off, we'll be off for a few weeks because of um, the closures that are happening. But um, yeah, so when I mentioned the arena, that's what I'm talking about. But anyway, so I, so I found this painting in my pile and I thought, this is one that's fun and bright and you could use almost any medium to get the same effect. Those nice, bright, fun colors with the, you know, the stark black silhouette. It's a really nice little effect here. And I can't wait. I can't wait to see all of these. And also what's great about this one is you can kind of, once you have your tree down, maybe, maybe you like it as it is. Um, in the finished product, we have these fun little swirls. Um, I kind of think of them either as leaves or even like clouds. Um, so maybe, maybe when you're done with your tree, you're like, hey, I kind of like it like that. And that's totally cool. You can kind of say, this is now my painting and I don't, I don't have to do the swirlies. Um, it's totally up to you. Just add in some branches on our happy little tree. All right, I can't help it. I think I'm gonna have to add a branch Mm, yeah, I think I'll come up through there. I'm just, for me, I'm looking at this um, yellow space here. <laughs> I'm surprised I hadn't said it earlier. Um, I'm looking at this uh, yellow space here, and I'm like, oh, that looks kind of open to me. I want a branch to be living in there. So I think I'm just going to bring one out right there. I think that, that 
works. I think that'll do, pig. How we doing with our branches, y'all? I cannot wait to see all these. Oh, Susanna, thank you so much. Oh, that just made my day. Thank you so, so much. That is wonderful. I really appreciate that. Oh, you guys are the best. All righty. Ooh, don't kick the stand. There we go. I just got so excited I kicked the stand. All right, folks. So I'm just going to kind of yap for a couple minutes in case anybody needs to catch up. Um, but I am, I'm all done here with, with my black paint and this brush. And so I'm going to wipe off any excess glops of paint, especially with the black paint, guys. Um, you really want to try to get off as much of that paint as possible in a paper towel first before you rinse it off. It just... It just helps clean clean the brush um, if there's you know less paint in there to begin with. Oh, hi Anne Marie. Oh, gosh, I miss you guys so much at, at improv and with you know everything getting getting canceled. It's just such a bummer. Anyway, um, so I'm wiping off as much of that black paint as I can and um, dipping it into. The water to get it nice and clean. Uh, by the way, uh, this is sort of a uh, hashtag tip in brush washing <laughs> to extend the life of your brushes. So um, when you wash your brush, it doesn't. The brush never needs to go um, deeper into the water than the br the bristles itself. So the reason why um, brushes pop off like this. So the reason why that happens is because water, I'm going to drip water all over my painting. <laughs> Way to go, Jack. Um, so the reason why this happens is because water gets in here. So when you're cleaning your brushes, the brush never needs to be fully submerged. You don't ever want to get water in that seam. That's why they, they fall apart. Do I always follow this rule? No. Um, but if you do want to extend the life of, um, say, like a more expensive set of brushes, you don't want to submerge the brush in, in water completely. Um, I am a hot mess and I need paper towels. Here we go. So I'm just going to wash this off here. All right. So we have our bright, sunny background with lots of bright colors. We have our, our cool tree silhouette. And I think I went really crazy with the branches this time compared to this one. I don't know. See how different they are? I love how different they are. Okay, so now let me dab my poor painting here that I got water on. All right. Um, so now for these swirlies. Um, if you notice you'll see that the, the swirlies kind of match the color that they're on top of, right? So in, let me see if I can manage to balance this here. Um, in the green section, I have like dark green swirlies. In the yellow section, I have white and um, kind of orange swirlies. In the red section, I have um, reds and pinks. In the purple section, I have lavenders and dark purples. And in the blue section, I have darker blues and whites. So that's going to help um, your, your painting look a bit more, um, I don't know. It's not realistic because this is not a realistic painting. But it's going to make it look more um, cohesive and together. 
Um, if you just kind of went mishmash crazy and put colors everywhere, that's going to give it a different look. Um, it's going to be a bit more uh, whimsical, crazy fun. Um, this is this is to keep it more cohesive. And this is your happy little tree, so you can do whatever you want. You don't even have to listen to me. But if you do want to follow the feel of the original, you want to keep like the same color scheme um, over each section. All right. Um, I just noticed my phone is getting low on battery, so I need to plug in. Oh, so we shall do that. some juice. We got juice now, phone? Where's Lizzo when you need her? Come on. Sorry, I'm just trying to get my phone plugged in here. Good? Come on. Let's try this. All right. Come on, phone. Yo. Okay. So, swirly time. I've moved to a little brush and I'm going to start light and work my way darker, meaning I'm going to start with my white paint and I'm going to use just straight white wherever I want some white swirlies. So for me, I kind of, I kind of think of the white as like little clouds. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep that in the blue section, a little swirly up here. And I'm going to put a little swirly over here. We put in swirlies wherever we want them. Swirlies over here. Maybe some swirly in the yellow. yellow. Nope, white is not gonna show up in the yellow. I need more white, there we go. All right, now let's add a little bit of blue to that white and get some pale blue happening. So I can put a pale blue, maybe over a dark blue, pale blue over some sea foam green. All right. Got some pale blue over there. Now I'm gonna take advantage of my pale blue on my brush and I'm gonna add some red so I can get like a lavender. So again, I started with white swirlies and I put my white swirlies over some purple, yellow, and blue. Then I added a little bit of blue to get a light blue swirly and I put some light blue swirlies. Taking advantage of that pale blue on my brush, added some red to get a lavender swirly. Lavender swirlies. And I'm gonna put some lavender swirlies and the purple, and the blue, you know, wherever, maybe even some up here. Um, how about some straight purple? Let's get some straight purple on the brush. I think I'm probably moving too fast, so I'll slow down after this purple. So I got straight purple, I'm gonna put one over here, kind of hanging off the canvas. Put one over here, put one up here. Just add in swirlies wherever I want. I'm gonna kind of fix this white swirly. He's kind of hanging on for dear life here. Oh, it looks like we had another little interruption, but I think we're back. We 
had a little interruption, but I think we're okay. All right, taking a little break here to have everyone catch up with their swirlies. So, oh yeah, yeah, definitely Katrina. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm sure it looks awesome. I hope you can post a, a picture. Um, I guess as a comment to the video or I, I can make a post and, and people can add them there. But yeah, yo, so I'm so glad that you used the chalk. That, that, that probably looks really fun. All right, so I did my yellow, uh, excuse me. I did my white swirlies. I did light blue swirlies. Um, I added red to make it lavender swirly. Now I'm gonna wipe off that, that color and clean my brush because now I'm gonna move on to a different color scheme. I'm gonna do some, some greens here. So rinse my brush. Let's go to straight green. Let's get some straight green in that kind of light mint section. Now let's add some, let's add some blue to that green. See what happens. Why not? Some blue green. That'll do. Awesome. Thanks for hanging out, Stacy. We'll see you on Thursday. I'm going to clean my brush. So yeah, it's really, really important for the swirlies. Um, if you want to keep those colors nice and, and neat to, to rinse your brush in between, in between colors. Whoops. So let's see, now I'm going to go into the red family. So let's get some red and add some swirlies in my orange. You can have as many or as few swirlies. This is your painting. I'm going to make some orange. So red and yellow. Put some red and yellow. Oops, that's a little too much red. I've got to add more yellow. Get some of that yellow in there. We're just putting swirlies wherever we want. So now on top of the red, I'm gonna maybe get some purpley red. So some red and some purple or red and blue to kind of make it a bit of a kind of wine color. on you. Alrighty. All right, guys, we are, we are almost done here. I'm going to try to throw in some pink on top of my red. So adding white, get some fun pink colors in here. Ooh, and maybe some orangey too much. A little too much. There we go. All right. Guys, how's everybody doing? We are almost ready to stick a fork in this one. You can add as Keep adding those swirlies, as many or as few as you want. Finish photos. Um, oh, I can't wait to see them. Oh, I'm seeing them on Facebook now. 
Awesome! So yeah, um, if you would like to, please go to the um, event image um, in Paint with Jackie, uh, the image that says Paint with Jackie Live. Some, some people have already um, posted their pictures. Oh, I love them! Oh my goodness! See, this is my favorite part. Oh my gosh, I love it. So yeah, go ahead with your um, finished, finished paintings. Please, please take pictures. I love looking at them. They make me so happy. So post your pictures as a comment to the uh, Paint with Jackie Live image post that was in um, my Facebook page, Paint with Jackie. Um, what else? Wrapping up. So I can, um, I'll see you, I'll see you guys hopefully Thursday for the Jana Marie Foundation Paint with Jackie live series. Our first one will be Thursday, March 19th at 2 p.m. Um, I don't know what the painting is going to be yet for that one, but um, please, if you want to join us there, you're going to go to the Jana Marie Foundation Facebook page, um, not the Paint with Jackie one. Okay, um, so yeah, I hope to see you at the Jana Marie Foundation Facebook. As we go, okay, um, awesome. Thank you, Ginny. Thank you, Nikki. Um, yeah, so we, we are good to go here, folks, right? Thank you so, so much, everyone, for being here with me um, virtually in this very first Paint with Jackie live event. You guys were the, the first ones to do this new adventure with me and I appreciate you so much for joining me. I hope this was fun. I hope we got some nice good color um, and fun on this kind of gloomy Tuesday. Um, thank you so, so much for, for being here and I will see you hopefully Thursday at two from the Jana Marie uh, Foundation Facebook page where we will do another live Paint with Jackie event. Thank you so much, Susanna. Thanks, Jeanette. So nice to see familiar faces. Um, even though we're not at the arena, um, just seeing your little face on your Facebook icon uh, makes me smile. So thank you. Thanks for being here. And this is, this is Jackie of Paint with Jackie, and we are signing off. Awesome work, everyone. Please post those pics.